Welcome back, Cougar Nation, to another exciting episode of The Roar. I'm Sam Clark. And I'm Jean-Luc Bro. And we have a jam-packed show for you today. Volleyball continued their dominance with a huge sweep against Tarlings Catholic. Our swim team made a splash in their latest swim meet. Cross country turned into another standout performance this time in Mississippi, and we'll check in with some of our Cougar football alumni. Let's get into it, Cougars, in this episode of The Roar. We start with Cougar Volleyball, who's been nothing but unstoppable. Last night, the Cougars swept Turlings Catholic 3-0 in front of a jam-packed house. This marks yet another victory in what has been a dominant season for the girls. They also swept through the competition earlier this week, continuing their streak as one of the top teams in the state. With incredible teamwork and relentless energy, the Cougars are showing everyone why they're the team to beat. The Cougars came out strong, taking the first set with a commanding score of 25-13. They set the tone early, showcasing their powerful teamwork and strategy. A standout player in this match was Beverly Poche. She had an impressive number of kills, and her ability to find gaps in the defense kept the Cougars ahead throughout the match. The second set was a bit more competitive, with the Cougars clinching at 25-22. Their only serve missed throughout the entire game was a testament to their consistency and preparation. Turlings Catholic put up a strong fight, but the Cougars dominated once again, finishing strong at 25-11. Next, let's dive into the pool where the Cougar swim team is making waves. At their latest meet, the Cougars finished first overall as a combined team. The girls team claimed the championship, while the boys finished as runner-ups. It was a total team effort with the standout performances across the board in both individual and relay events. The Cougar swim team competed in their last regular season swim meet of the year last night. The team overall finished in first place, with the boys coming in second and the girls placing first. Amelie Dubois finished first in the 200 intermediate. Amiel Corvo placed first in both the 100 breaststroke and 200 free. On the boys' side, seniors Thomas Langerno won both the 200 free and 100 butterfly, and Everett Hillman finished first in the 100 breaststroke. Overall, it was a great day for the Cougars in their last meet before district in early November. The time is running out to see the team in action, so get out and go support our Cougars. Now, on to our cross-country team, who recently traveled to Clinton, Mississippi, to compete in the Watson High School Cross-Country Classic. Facing tough competitions from multiple states, the STM girls team delivered yet again, finishing second overall in the gold race. Last week, the team hit the road and traveled to Clinton, Mississippi for the Watson High School Cross Country Classic, a meet that brought in top teams from multiple states. Leading the way for the Cougars was none other than Cameron Hike, who continues to shine this season. She placed an impressive ninth overall in a field filled with elite runners from across the region. Cameron's hard work and determination were on full display, and she's showing why she's one of the top runners to watch this year. But it wasn't just Cameron who had a strong showing. The entire STM girls team came together to secure second place finish in the prestigious gold race. Facing fierce competition from the schools across multiple states, our girls held their own and proved that they belong at the top. This is a huge achievement and testament to the depth and talent of this team. With performances like this, the STM cross country team continues to impress week after week. As we head into the final stretch of the season, keep an eye out on the Cougars as they build momentum towards their postseason. Last but not least, it's time for our Where Are They Now segment, where we check in with some of our Cougar alumni who are making big impacts at the next level. From standout performances in college to making waves on the gridiron, our former Cougars are proving that the STM legacy runs deep. What's up? I'm Sam Altman. I'm Sam Altman. I'm actually Sam Altman. I'm Landon Struther. I'm Sam Altman. And I'm Hutch Swilly. The biggest thing I took from high school going into college was it had to be work ethic because, I mean, coming here, it showed me if you worked hard, you, you would be able to get where you wanted to be. And I mean, that was just true since my sophomore year. 
because I just started working. I mean, me and Landon, we'd come out and throw basically every day. I, I wanted to say Hutch would come with us, <laughs> but he'd come sometimes. sometimes. Sometimes, I'll give him that. But I mean, just the stacking days, it, it worked. Cause I mean, my junior year I was able to play and I never really looked back. I know the same is true for Landon. Uh, the biggest difference from high school to college on the football field, at least, would be the skill level. Every, everybody that uh, everybody that's playing at the college level is really good at what they do. Um, everybody is pretty much, I guess you could say, a master of their craft. They've all put in years of effort and work to get where they are. So as far as football goes, I'd say that's definitely the biggest thing. Um, and in school, I would say that it's definitely a little bit harder in college. Um, but there's a little bit less. You don't have as many classes. So the teachers really just pile it on you. Time but management. Time management yeah. is definitely a big thing too. A lot of and studying. Like naps, naps too. Yeah, I take a lot of naps for sure. But yeah, All I'd right. say those are the biggest things. So a typical day in the life of a college athlete, we'll wake up bright and early around 6.30, 7, and then we'll go to mandatory breakfast with the team in the mornings. And then right after that, we'll go to class, we'll go to study hall, do all that and then we'll come back to the football facility we'll eat lunch and then we'll have a workout nothing crazy more recovery stuff and then we'll go into meetings for about two to three hours um well, like three hours three hours learning stuff learning plays just getting everything down and then we'll go out to the field we'll do a little walkthrough just to get the blood flowing and stuff and then we'll go straight into practice and practice will go about three hours, depending on the day. And then, yeah, and then we'll go to dinner and then we'll turn it in, we'll head back to the apartment back around 8, 8.30, 9, depending on the day. Tell them how uh, fall camp fall camp was. That was fall that camp. Fall camp, during the summer, it's a little bit different, a little more, a little more serious. Um, we got, we'll wake up around 6 a.m., hard start, we'll go, shoot, we'll go to breakfast. What is it? It was like workouts, meetings. meetings for about four hours, four or five. And you got more workouts, more meetings, practice, two practices. And two, then you finally workouts, go around 930. Like film review, yeah. film review at, view at the end. Yeah, but you don't leave the facility dinner. from 6 a.m. to like 930, 10 No, we would do night. dinner, Mandatory go dinner back to meetings, and then more film review. And then have a snack at 930 p.m. And then go home. And then we'll head back at 10 p.m. So if you're thinking about playing, you better love it, because I mean, <laughs> if you don't, you're not gonna it's make a commitment. it. commitment. You're not gonna make it if you don't. That's it. Speed run. How are we doing this? Yeah, it's like yeah. best style. Best Ooh. hair has to be best style. All right, So best ready? style, landing. Best hair, me. We'll just like argue over it. All right. All right, that's cool. Just are you single? Are you ready to mingle? Here we go, speed round. <clears throat> best style. It's gotta be me or you. Definitely not Sam. Not Sam. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, Just not I, don't Sam. I don't work at Modia. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> Best hair? Gotta be Sam all day. Look at that. I'm definitely going with that. Sam. Man. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta Let's go with Sam. Sam. Who would win in a karaoke competition? It's gotta Sam. be Swilly. It's gotta be He's Sam. He's always singing in his truck. Uh, yeah. He got his glasses on. Singing, singing in the shower at night, bro. That's like, hero. That's crazy. Uh, favorite, favorite go to college meal? Anything in my parents' yeah, house. Anything my mom it's makes. Free. Going home, eating the, <laughs> yeah. eating the good food. Um, we got favorite dessert. Ice cream and brownies. It's underrated. Cherry vanilla. Cherry vanilla it's ice cream. Cherry Blue vanilla, vanilla, cherry vanilla. That's that's terrible. terrible. That's the best thing. That's good. Later, Go fellas. Cajuns. Go Cougs. All right, Cougar family. We're going up for another action-packed week of STM Athletics, and we've got some major mashups on the horizon. First up, it's a showdown for the District 4-4A title. This game has all the makings of a classic rivalry clash with the district supremacy on the line. The Cougars have been grinding all season for this moment, and it all comes down to this. You won't want to miss this action at Cougar Stadium. Make sure you can come out and pack the stands. Next, our STM cross country team is gearing up for their district championship meet, which takes place next Wednesday at Acadiana Park. After their strong performance at the Watson Classic, the Cougars are looking to take home the district title. With top runners like Cameron Hike leading the charge, we know this team is primed for success. Good luck to all of our runners. And don't forget about our Cougar volleyball team. 
The Cougars will wrap up district play next Tuesday at David Thibodeau. The team has been on a roll this season and they're looking to finish strong heading into the playoffs. Let's keep up the energy and show our Lady Cougars some love as they close our district competition. It's going to be an exciting week across the board for SCM Athletic Cougar fans. Football, cross country, volleyball, we've got something for everyone. Remember to show up and show out as our Cougars fight for district titles and prepare for the postseason. Thank you for watching this episode of The Roar and be sure to check us out next week. Bunch of champions, that's what we've got.